So just like with anything in life, you plan things out. Plan things out ahead of time. Sorry, I'm backing up and holding the camera at the same time. But anytime that you're planning something in life, you like to think about what you're gonna do. So as a YouTuber, I like to think about all the streets are so narrow now because of all the snow. There's nowhere to go. But anyway, back to my point. As a YouTuber, you start to plan out your videos and what you're gonna put in what and how and what order. Something I'm gonna be like all the other YouTubers and show you guys me getting gas and you know how they oh put the gas in, pick out what type of gas, all that good stuff. Just a quick like intro. Problem. I'm in New Jersey. We don't pump our own gas. So there goes that intro. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's going to be a pretty important one to me. More of a vlog type, but I will get into that in the next clip. So I'll see you then. So as you can tell, we are outside of Retro Fitness. I have decided that it is time to get out of my school's gym because it's so small, it's packed, there's no squat racks, and there's only one machine for every type of exercise, and I just need to make the change, so I'm at Retro Fitness. It's the closest gym relatively to um, school for a good price, so that's what I'm going to do gonna go in there and sign up for a membership and what's nice about it is you can um, sign up here but then also when I go home I can go to the closest retro fitness there as well and it's all the same price so that is the plan I did call ahead to see if uh, they have any policies on filming and they don't so that's good so I'll definitely be able to get some footage finally have a squat rack and all that good stuff so I'm very excited new step for me and for this channel because I'll get more videos out and now we are back in business, hence the name of this series. So lots to come, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. So I just got back in from signing up, and it was great. Just the atmosphere is totally different than like my school gym. Everyone's in there having a good time, working out. Everyone's in a good mood, which is nice. The music's going, so I'm really happy about this. I think I'm going to be more excited to go work out because I'll also be able to do more things. They've got squat, uh, squat racks in there and don't have that at the school gym. So a lot of good things to come. I'm just really excited. Um, I'm not going to work out there today, but the next time, I think tomorrow, today's Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, I'll probably come back and work out here. So it's very good. I'm happy. It's going to be great more videos to come and there's a Chipotle and a Whole Foods right next door to Retro Fitness so it doesn't get much better than that so I think some post burritos will for sure be going down so all about those Chipotle games what E. coli but anyway I'm really happy about that I'm headed back to school right now uh, I'm gonna get ready and head to the gym there. Following directions on my phone, that's why I'm looking down because I haven't been in this area of New Jersey before. It's only like 10 15 minutes from my house, that's so not too bad at all. But yeah. But, um, other part of this video that I want to talk about was you know, the whole reason for this um, series, Back in Business. And I just think this is going to be a good year for me, a good year for this channel. I have a lot planned. That I want to do and I'm just very excited um, now that I'm at the new gym I'll be able to get a lot more footage done and just reach my goals I want to become stronger overall you know I don't want to be the skinny girl like I used to be before and I just think I've come a long way and I'm very happy about that in fact the other day I had a friend reach out to me we used to play soccer together and she reached out to me and I said, hey, you know, we're done soccer. I need to get back into it. I need to start eating better again. I want to start working out. Can we meet up, catch up, and kind of talk about that? And we met up and got some coffee the other day and just talked, you know, for like over an hour. 
and it was great and just having someone reach out to you like that was really nice yeah just having someone notice that you're passionate about something you know for me it's fitness and nutrition and having them reach out to you and ask for your help and your recommendations and just knowing that someone thought about you and you know even for them they want to take a step in the right direction for their life their health and everything so it means a lot that that happened so I'm very thankful for that and the whole point of making these videos and reaching out to people on social media go follow me on Instagram but um whole reason for all this is just to help anyone and learn for myself I could, if I can help one person then I feel like I've you know done a good thing and I think that's what it's all about the fitness community is so great and so positive that's you know with it's a good thing and I think that even if you're not you wake up every day and you're thinking about your health and fitness and all that even if you just you know you want to work out a little bit here and there it's just it's a good thing to have and I think it's good for people to understand their nutrition and what they should be doing in the gym and everything like that but yeah I know I'm rambling on I wanted this to be more of a vlog style of video just kinda start off this new series um, if you haven't already go check out my last video which was the reviews that I did on Fierce Pete's new book and the pre-workout from my protein so highly recommend you check that I'm gonna have more um, re supplement reviews and book reviews too I'm really into reading right now and I've got the time so if you have any recommendations for books or you want to send me some let me know Leave that in the comments box below. Um, so yeah, there'll be a lot more video reviews like that. And I have some other things coming in the mail that I'll be testing out for you guys as well. So those videos will come. My goal is to have a workout video every week and like a review video every week. We'll see how that goes. And like a vlog style because this is good for me. I do a lot of driving between work because I nanny in the morning and the afternoon. So I'm just kind of out and about, and it's good to get things out there. And like I said before, if I can help one person, then I feel like, you know, I'm doing a good thing. And I have learned so much from all of this as well, and I hope you guys have too. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Good things to come, I promise. Like, I am so excited about this year and what it has in store for me and for this channel. I mean, just in the, the last week, um, sorry about that. Just within the last week, I've had so many people reach out to me and notice what I've been doing, and that means the world because you put in a lot of time and effort and money you know, between the cameras and all that kind of stuff and the time to edit. I mean, I love editing, so I'm not complaining, but, you know, I really want this to turn into something big, and I think I can do that. In fact, I know I can. I've got the time, I've got the passion, and I've got the resources to do so, so now all I have to do is do it. But yeah, this just doesn't go just for um, fitness and nutrition and things like that. Just anything you're passionate about. If it's starting your own company, if it's studying more to ace that test if it's you know to have better relationships or be more open is if it's to become a better public speaker set tiny goals and work on that whether it's every day or every week like say you're going to accomplish this today or you're going to do this within the week and little by little believe it or not those tiny little goals that you make will become huge goals that you thought you would never reach I mean I I was a terrible public speaker and now here I am and vlogging, trying to vlog more in public, you know, just getting out there and doing things that I never thought I would do before. So that's what 2016 is about, doing new things, accomplishing new goals. If you guys have any goals, put them down below and by putting them out there on paper and writing them down, getting them out there, then you're more likely to do something. Um, because it's there and you've said it out loud and now people are gonna be like hey so are you gonna you know do so and so because you said you would so you need to stick to that
Also, it's just like if you're gonna buy something that's a couple hundred dollars, you're more likely to use it all because you spent all that money. Same goes for like food prep. If you buy a bunch of food, you're going to use it and it, because you spent all the money for it. All the money that I spent on cameras and tripods, I'm making sure I use that because I've put in a good amount of money for it. Not that I don't want to, but what? It's just that incentive. Like, I'm not gonna waste my time or money on something. I'm gonna put it to good use. But yeah, I think this is enough rambling on. It is almost 12 o'clock, and I still have not getting gas, like I said I would in the beginning of this. So, it is time to get gas, considering my light is on. Let's get home. Home, home. People say I have a Baltimore accent, especially since I live in Jersey. So, let me know. Do you guys think I have a, a Baltimore accent? I just heard it there when I said home. Happens every once in a while. But yeah, I think that'll be it for the video. If not, you'll find out, obviously. But thank you guys once again for listening. There'll be plenty more videos coming out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what else you guys want to see. I'm going to go get gas. going to have a little pre-workout meal. Hit the gym. And that should be it. If not, stay tuned for the rest of the video. And if not for that, stay tuned for the next video. So thank you guys once again, and I will see you all later. Can't pump your own gas. Not too bad for cash, it's only 163. Had to put the camera down when I was pulling in though because people don't know how to drive.